اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر آئی ول لیٹ یو نو ہاؤ ٹو رائٹ یور پیپر ان فیو ایزی اسٹیپس I hope so that you would like this short presentation of mine today. Uh, these are some contents planning for writing a research paper. Five planning. Number one, define your topic. Number two, plan your research. Number three, search for resources. Number four, create an outline. Number five, write your paper. Very short, concise. So the first step, define your topic. Pick a subject that interests you, like poverty alleviation in contemporary society. Refine your subject by narrowing your focus to specific topic, like poverty alleviations planning in Khyber Pakhtun. Try to pick a topic that will have enough information available. In these slides, as I mentioned that, choose the subject which you are taking interest by researching it. So take a broad subject, then narrow them down and try to pick the topic. Usually you should select those topics which have enough information available in your surroundings. So this is the first principle of writing a research paper of your own. In the second step, plan your research. Plan your research means start by gathering some background information about the subject. If you are reading any subject where you are student of management sciences, social sciences, applied sciences, or natural sciences, you should choose your own subject. Use sources such as reference books and encyclopedias to find out about your topic. Let's suppose you are working in applied sciences. Choose the topic which nearly meets your requirement. Use your background information to think of appropriate search terms. Here, you will search that what has already been done in my subject, what have written by other scholars in my field. So use your background information to think for appropriate topic or subject which you are going to research. The third step is very simple, search for resources. Take note of the types of resources you will require. Does your course require peer-reviewed resources? Let's suppose if you are searching for resources in your subject. So make notes of whatever you are collecting in your field. Use online search platforms such as Google Scholars online databases that what have already been done, what have already been researched in my fields by the scholars. Search to find credible articles, books, etc. in library catalog of your surrounding. But suppose you are reading in the agriculture university, engineering university, medical science university. Each library has defined its catalog, which is available online. Let's suppose I will quote an example of iwsilibrary.org.pk. Here we have provided an online catalog where you can find research articles, books, newspaper articles, reports relevant to your subject. So we are dealing with international relations. So you can find whatever you need in social sciences. You can find out our catalog. Create an online outline. You can do it. Create an outline. Here, you will collect the notes. Read your sources and take notes. Keep track of your sources. Whatever you are consulting, 
just make the notes which are easily available by searching them again and again. Write a thesis statement. Your thesis statement is the main argument of your paper and should be one to two sentence long. One to two sentence, if you are searching any topic, these should be two sentences long in your area. Outline the structure of your paper. Route, write down the main points and determine how you will organize the paper. If you are not making an outline in your paper, that will become very difficult for you to organize them. The last that you write your paper, write the first draft of your paper using your outline and information you gather from your research. Here in the second sentence, I mentioned that revise the draft to create your final paper. Uh, whenever you prepare your first draft, read them out, read them out again and again. Here you will make them proofreading. These are a few simple steps if you want to become a researcher and you want to write your own paper. So follow these principles. I hope so that you will become a good researcher once in your life ahead. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. I hope that you will subscribe my channel for more informative tutorials. I am thankful to all of you by watching all my lectures regularly. May God bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa